Today, let's see how we can throw an exception from a lambda expression. So currently, we are having a functional interface operation containing an abstract method divide, which will accept a numerator and a denominator, and it will return a double value. And this is how I'm invoking it. So I'm just simply saying numerator divide by denominator, and that's it. Now, if I will be passing denominator as zero, so obviously I will be getting an arithmetic exception here. But as you can see, I'm not catching or I'm not doing anything within the lambda expression. Later on, obviously I'm putting it in a try catch block so that I can handle the exception. So let's see how it is going to work. So as you can see, it is working normally without any issues and simply throwing the exception. So exception will be thrown from the lambda expression, then it will go here and it will be caught in line number 21. Now let's see how we can throw a checked exception from the same code. So for that, first of all, I'll mention some checked exception here. So I will be saying throws and here I will be mentioning it as IO exception. You can throw any other kind of exception also. I have just randomly chosen this particular one. Now here, since this time it is going to be multiple lines. So we need these curly braces first of all. So let me make it something like this. And here let me provide a return keyword. So now it is going to look something like this. Let me make it some a bit shorter. Now it is better. Now what we will do is we will simply say here that if your denominator is equals to zero, then in that particular case, we need to throw a checked exception that is going to be IO exception. So let's mention here something like this and within the brackets, let's mention that, okay, let's try to give the same exception, but something like this. So as you can see, I have mentioned it in such a way and here I need to provide a semicolon. So that's it. Now in executing, you will see that now we are throwing a checked exception. So now you can see from a lambda expression, we can throw both the unchecked as well as checked exception. Thanks.